This is the front part of an Aerial Square 4 primary chain cover. Um, one of our customers has got a motley collection of classic British bikes and he always likes to do improvements to them. Um, we've done work on brakes in the past and he also likes to convert them to 12 volt electrics and his plan for his square 4 is to put an alternator on it. So I think this is a spare, it's not the one off his bike, this is a spare cover he's got from somewhere. And we've got a motley collection of bits which is going to eventually, we hope, or he hopes, um, work as an alternator. So the unit he wants to use is this is the rotor it's a Kubota part Not that you can tell from here I think he said it was a Kubota um, rather than going for the old Lucas alternators that uh, old British bikes started to use um, yeah anyway he's got a Kubota that's the rotor that's the stutter. Um, so the plan is going to be this is all going to go on the in here. Well, there's not enough room in here, so this is going to be extended outwards. Um, but the plan is to take the drive off the front crankshaft somehow. I don't know what the hell these things are like inside, so, but uh, he's obviously taken a look at it and thought it can be done. So this will be driven off of the crank this part has got to be mounted here somewhere and in order to do that the plan is to put a tube on it somehow I don't think it needs to stick out this far but um, first thing he's asked us to do is to put a four, cut a four inch diameter hole in here so that this tube can go in. Now that wants to be centred on the centre of this radius. This is six and a half inch diameter and I happen to have some random lumps of aluminium just lying around from a job that never went anywhere so I had one of these and I turned it down a bit to look like this and I've also drilled some holes so that this can go on there I've turned this down to six and a half inch diameter to match this so that can be bolted on there and from there it can be bolted onto a machine milling machine and we can put a hole in it and what I'm thinking is that I can center this up on the machine bolt the cover on top and proceed to cut a hole in it so my original idea was that I would clamp this to the bed of the milling machine uh, locate off this hole that's here already and then bolt this on top and start drilling and boring the hole in here but it's quite a big hole so I thought it would actually be better if I could uh, rather than even if I start with a 65mm hole saw, there's still a lot of boring to do. So rather than do that, if I can bolt this onto a turntable, come down with a milling cutter and machine it out like that. So here's my turntable. And first thing I've got to do is put two holes in this ring. so that I can bolt this to 
the turntable. I just need a little bit of wiggle room. So I want to make two holes opposite each other so that I can then bolt it down to the slots on the turntable. In order to do that I've got a three jaw chuck that we often use on this. This has got a spigot underneath. So that centers the plate on the turntable and the chuck is obviously centered on that plate. Right, I've just realized I've been a bit dumb here. Rather than putting some clamping holes in this, I don't need to clamp this to, to this. I can just hold it where it is. Put the piece on top and away we go. Right. The hole in this disc here is just over 107 millimeters. We're going to be putting a 100 millimeter hole in the casting that we're going to be screwing to the top of it. So, I'm thinking that should be about right. Come down there. Mm, I'll move it over a little bit. We can always take a bit more off. We can't put it back on. Yep. That'll do us. Why is the key you want always the one that's not in the set? Make sure this looks right. Oh, heck, that's going to get close to there. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, heck. Well, it is what it is. Let's go for it.
Hmm, 97.5. We're not going to get, or are we? Oh, we can get a bit more out. Oh, we're going to start running into this. Ha! Huh. I think the guy we're doing this for might need to come and have a look at this before we open it out any further.